Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today I'm going to be touring the island of Acorn by Kate Crossing. Kate makes content over on Instagram and also she's very active over on X. I will go ahead and link both of them in the description below as well as placing the dream address. You should definitely come and experience this island for yourself. Acorn is a beautiful fall island. It's very natural. It's absolutely stunning and I can't wait to share it with you. So first thing I'm going to do is look at the map and she has Ellie, my queen, and Pearl, Fang, Vivian, Pippi, Callie, Blair, Goldie, Pashmina, and Bones. Actually, she couldn't possibly have a better set of uh, villagers on her island and her character actually looks a lot like my character usually does so on this island we did have presents we have the tulip hat pleather flare skirt denim painter's pants crepe shade socks moccasins a knit sweater and an acorn pochette okay i love it we are completely ready to go first up let's start at this entrance it's absolutely stunning i love the yellows and oranges I love how she brought in that complimentary green right over there. Such a beautiful, cool complimentary color to add to this palette. And it's gorgeous over here. And we have a villager's house right at the entrance. So right over here, we have a cute little picnic. I love this blanket. It's just like a little, um, I guess a worn looking blanket with a little heart with a ruffle in the middle. And I love the way it looks. It's absolutely stunning. Such a great job in picking the codes on this island. I also love the quilt on this pillow right here. Super cute. Which direction do I want to go in? We're going to go this way. So over here we have this little bridge and it's absolutely stunning. And we have a little bit of a wheat field and a pumpkin patch over here. I do love the fall weeds. The fall weeds are the best weeds, hands down. Super pretty. And this is Bones House. Bones House was kept the way it is in game naturally. And that is my baby running around her island. She fits this island perfectly. She's stunning. So over here, he has a little eatery where you can grab some food over here and come and sit down and enjoy with your fellow neighbors oh she's so cute i love her so much okay so if we head back this way since i think it's the only way to go from here we're gonna come across one this cute little area right here with a little with the little duck pond look how cute that is so sweet i'm gonna look at it from the other side as well but then Callie's house is right over here as well. Callie's house also fits very perfectly into this island. So Callie has this beautiful overlook behind her house. The tiered cliffs with the trees and the windmill in the background. All of that looks absolutely gorgeous. She has a cute little laundry area over here. So she is obviously the responsible one on the island. We have the laundry soap and a little basket over here. Super cute. I love the way those look as well. And then we're going to head back. I love when people do these cozy little paths with the cliffs on either side. It feels very enclosed and it's so pretty. And then the pumpkins right over here. I love the pumpkins in the fall. It just looks so good. They scream fall. And then we have a bike rental right over here. You can rent a bike for your journey through the island, which I think is super cute. I love those bike rental stands. Um, they're always really cute. And I've not actually made one on any of my islands, which is crazy. So here we have resident services. And to be perfectly, completely 100% honest, I did get lost on the way to the airport from resident services. I thought it was going to be very straightforward, but it there is a little bit of a path and the path I followed the wrong way and then I ended up halfway across the island. It was a whole thing, but I made it in the end and that's all that matters. Okay, so coming down from resident services, this is actually the way to the airport, but I'm going to stop over here because there's a little eating area and the duck pond continues over here. So this area right here looks super cute. I love the way this looks absolutely adorable and then we have a cute little sitting area right over there 
And then if we just continue around, we're going to make our way back to the entrance if we continue that way. Since I don't want to go back to the airport, I'm going to go ahead and continue up this path right over here. There is a diagonal bridge right here. Okay, so over here we have the museum, which is super pretty. And I love the way she has a lot of things layered in front of it. So the banners aren't like the so prominent and it doesn't stand out quite so much. And it looks beautiful. The way she decorated it is completely beautiful. She did allow the prettier parts of it shine through and managed to cover the parts that maybe aren't as pretty. So it looks great on her island. And then there's this little coffee area right here that you can sit down and have a coffee and a piece of carrot cake, which looks gorgeous right here. And there's some cute little bug models sprinkled into the flowers. And I love that little detail. You know, everything's always in the details, right? Some people are really good with details and she's definitely one of them. And here we have Brewster's coffee truck outside. You know, the cafe is on the inside. So the coffee truck is right here on the outside, which I absolutely love. It is super adorable. Check that out. Okay, so it looks like the only way to go is back where I came from. Oh, there's an incline right here. Let's go this way. Okay, up here we have our Nook's Cranny and they're receiving a shipment. I do love that she has an ATM machine out front because that is very helpful. And then we have our Nook's. Nook's Cranny actually does fit in really well with this island theme. Um, it's Fall is one of the seasons that Nook's actually shines. And it does look really good on this island. So I'm loving it with this theme right here. So in front of Nook's Cranny, we have this cute little pumpkin patch right here. I do love a good pumpkin patch. They just look so cute. She used the yellow and orange flowers on this island. And I love the dropped weeds right over here. Those are super cute as well. There's some little brown bunnies in here and they go perfectly also. And I do love this little wood, wooden plank path that she chose for this island. I do wanna make one kind of similar to that as well. So we have some bunnies over here on this path and I'm gonna go up here where we have the Able Sisters. The custom codes used outside of the Able Sisters are really good. There also appears to be some sales racks outside of the Able Sisters. So she had it cosplay exactly the way it's supposed to be as a regular store with some little sales racks, a delivery area, a little changing area outside. I do love the ranch wardrobe outside of the Able Sisters. Such a beautiful detail. And of course, there's socks on the floor because why wouldn't there be? Um, it looks like the Able Sisters also hold a sewing class in front of their shop which is really cute the white and yellow sewing machines were used over here and you can just touch up your sewing skills if you would so choose to in at the able sisters okay so there's a few ways i can go from here but i'm gonna go away from the pointy sign and go across this diagonal bridge right here which does give a view of the pumpkin patch and all of the area over here, which looks especially gorgeous during the golden hour, which is when this dream address was set. It's the most beautiful time of day for a fall island, I, I think, in my opinion anyway. And it looks so pretty. Right over here, we have a cute little bakery, which is adorable. I do love the customization she cho chose for the round tables with the tablecloth on them. And that's actually an in-game customization, so you can uh, use it just without downloading anything. And then this is what was right above resident services. So I'm going to head back now. Okay, so past the Able Sisters, we have an incline going down over here and we have Bones. He's super cute. And it looks like a, an entire wheat farm over here. We have the cute little brick garden faucet, which I think goes really well here. I do love the wooden shed here. It looks so good and all of the flowers are stunning. So this wheat farm would belong to Goldie. Oh yeah, that's super appropriate, right? I love Goldie's house in this island as well. It does match perfectly and the wheat farm does go really well with her house. She has a little area to have a snack right over here. 
She also has the back beach over here, which looks super relaxing and beautiful. I love the way that looks. The cinema roll tray is so cute right there. And then there's a little swinging bench right here, just in case you want to take a little siesta. Let's see what's going on in front of Goldie's house because there is a little gate right here and I love when these are used as gates because that looks so cute. And over here we have a cute little well um, because of course all of the farms here, they're going to need their water from somewhere. So there's a little well right here. There's a cute little reading area over there and a villager house. This would be Ellie's house. I don't even have to look because Ellie but um this house is really perfect for ellie and the area that she chose for her is absolutely gorgeous for her and then she's right next to a beautiful little creek over here this little view right here is stunning as well everything here is super pretty y'all it's so beautiful if we come down this way, there's a cute little mushy farm. I love a good mush farm. And there's some jarred mushrooms right over here. Super cute. I'm going to see what's going on in front of the house before I go in. There's also coffee if you would like to have some coffee. This is a good place to stop right, right over here. And oh my gosh, a little plant shop. Oh, this is so cute. I did say I was going to try not to say cute so much, right? Um... That would be a failure on my part <laughs> but this is so pretty and the custom codes behind the the stand right there the covered counter is so cute and everything fits this island so beautifully this is one of my favorite um, custom design creators as well um if i don't make my own codes i do like using the content creator not the content creator but the custom design creator that made the codes on a lot of the codes on this island okay so let's go in okay inside we have a very quaint and cozy little house i love that she used the tv with the vcr and she kept the moving boxes if you guys are wondering all you have to do is just not open them from when they're in a tent and you can keep them just like that uh, for the duration of your island if you want So this is the, um, so this would be her house. And I do love this stall design. I didn't shout it out, but it is absolutely stunning over here. So if we continue down from Kate's house, we have this cute little path over here that leads to a used bookstore. I do love used bookstores, like in real life, I really do. So I love when people put them on their islands. They're some of my favorite, favorite places on an island. And this one's absolutely adorable. She did such a great job over here. This is right next to Resident Services, in case you are wondering. And let's go see the front of the island before we go over to the far left. There's another little laundry area over here with some little ducks right next to the river, which is really pretty. I do love the way that looks. She kind of kept like the bones of the island and changed what she felt like needed to be changed, which I think is a really good approach to actually decorating an island. So this is the house right next to the entrance and this would be Pashmina's house and it's absolutely gorgeous. Her house already is very pretty and it matches really well with the island with the blue door and I just love how she has the clotheslines in front. It's just really quaint and really beautiful. We're going to go over this bridge right here, but let's look at this view. Look how pretty that is. There are so many photographic moments on the island. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, if we come over here, there is another villager house right over here who obviously took advantage of the used bookstore and bought a bunch of books to read. And um, let's see. You know, what's funny is I totally didn't expect to see these guys over here doing their thing. <laughs> this is so cute. There's a little gyroid choir going on over here or like a rehearsal or something. I don't know. They look like they're having so much fun. I just did not expect this at all when I came over here. 
It's so cute, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then if we make our way down over here, we have another beautiful villager house right next to the river mouth. And it's so pretty. She also just does a really good job of incorporating the river mouth onto her island. And I love that. It looks so natural and so pretty. We have a little pumpkin carving station right over here, which is perfect on this island. And here are all of the pumpkins. Wow, this is gorgeous. I love this pumpkin patch right here. Super pretty. And the little pumpkin starts in the barn behind it with the little scarecrow. It really is perfect. So pretty. So if we come up the incline behind those villager houses, we have this beautiful creek right over here, this river that leads to all of the waterfalls that were down by Ellie's house. And it looks so pretty and so natural. I'm going to continue down this nature trail over here because I do believe it's just a nature trail. There is an incline right over here. I didn't go up it when I was in this area of the island just because I wanted to see the front of the island. But now we have this land bridge and it feels like we're crossing over to somewhere new, right? I do love the waterfalls and all of the nature going on right next to it. Here we have the campsite. The campsite is a very cozy size, but I really love the way it was done with all of the nature. The terraforming around it is absolutely perfect. Um, it could not be a better experience on this island. Okay, I'm sad to say that that is it for this island. I wanna thank Kate for allowing me to tour her absolutely gorgeous island. I got so much inspiration, it's absolutely stunning. If you guys visit this island yourself, be sure to let Kate know over on Instagram and X. And if you're not following her over there, you definitely should go over there and follow what she's doing over there. She's making some pretty inspiring content. I heard that she's trying to add a YouTube channel to her list of socials. So maybe that is something to keep an eye on as well. I will go ahead and tag her in the description of the video. And you can also choose to subscribe to her channel and be the first in her new content should she decide to make some. Thank you so much for being here. I know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for a little bit. And I appreciate you so much for that. It means the absolute world to me. I hope you have an amazing day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.